What's up guys, welcome to this video. And in this video, I wanna answer the question, how do you start an online business in a developing country? I got this question uh, through my Instagram DMs because I made a story asking people, you know, what questions they had, etc. And I wanna record this video because I feel there's like a big misconception about this topic. Um, you know, the difference between starting a business, let's say in the US or maybe a country like Costa Rica. Uh, right now I'm in Costa Rica, I've lived uh, here basically all my life I have 23 years so I've been here for 23 years and I started my business here I never lived in the US I never lived in you know Europe or Australia in a you know developed countries and uh, so I have experience in this topic and I can tell you that the my, my main answer is that there's really no there's very little difference between starting a business in the US let's say or in a developing country I mean um, what matters the most are the principles, right? The fundamentals, which apply to any location in the world. There are smaller changes, like for instance, maybe in the US, it's easier to access uh, payment processors like Stripe, or create a US PayPal account, or get access to merchant accounts, or maybe to get credit, or maybe it's easier to get a credit card, or things like that, but in terms of, of marketing principles, marketing strategies, um, marketing concepts of how you get a random person in the world to buy your product through advertising that you place on Facebook or Instagram it's really the same same concept it doesn't it doesn't really matter if you are from Costa Rica or the US if you apply the principles of marketing and sales and you understand the psychology behind someone purchasing your product you understand the exchange of value between a person who is selling a product and a person who is buying a product. It doesn't matter if you are in Costa Rica or the US, you apply that concept, you should be making money. Um, I believe that uh, some people wonder this question or, or you know, ask themselves this question, uh, mainly e for e-commerce, right? Because yes, it's a little bit harder to, let's say, start an e-commerce business in Costa Rica compared to the US, because in the US, you just open a Shopify store you connect your Stripe account, um, you know, it's, it's easier to get credit. Uh, but it doesn't mean that if you're not from the US, you cannot start an e-commerce store. You could perfectly start an e-commerce store through Shopify, the same softwares and tools available to you. But when it comes time to accept payments, for instance, you can start with a company like To Checkout. you can start with Stripe, you can test cash and delivery in your local country, um, and also, if that doesn't work for you for whatever reason, which I can tell you they work, but if that doesn't work for you, then all you have to do is create a company in the US. It's gonna cost you maybe a thousand dollars or so, plus you have to go to the US to open the bank account, etc. But it's not like you cannot do it. I mean, you, you can do it. It's not like something impossible. And this can solve many of your problems uh, for being in a developing country. I myself were, was facing a lot of problems when it came to payment processors and I could use the ones that were available here in Costa Rica but I also kind of like solved that problem permanently by creating a company in the US and it's something that anyone can do uh, of course you need like a visa to go to the US and it's gonna cost a thousand dollars etc but you know what I mean the point of this video is that if you're thinking like how can I start a business in a developing country I just want to tell you that there's really no difference in terms of the business itself there's gonna be some things that you have to adapt but in terms of the principles in terms of the things that I'm teaching you you know like placing Facebook ads creating high converting sales funnels understanding the psychology of why people would buy your product how to position yourself above your competition and understand that you have to create content that you have to provide value to your audience, like all those different things. Doesn't matter if you're freaking in Antarctica. If you apply that, then you'll grow your business and you'll make money. So you have to kind of like mentally stop thinking that you have a disadvantage just because you're in a, develop in a developing country because that's really hurting you. And it's also, you're also like giving yourself excuses at the same time because I can tell you, I'm, I'm from Costa Rica. It's not like we are, you know, country in Europe or anything. I mean, we are four, four million people. It's a super small country. Um, it's just a regular country, right? In the mid middle of Central America. So I can tell you that it really makes no, no big difference. Uh, you have to really focus on mastering the skills uh, wherever you are. 
and um, and also see it as an advantage, right? The fact that you are from a developing country, like for instance, being from a developing country, sometimes it's really good. Like I try to to make the most out of it. Um, so for instance, for my personal brand, a lot of people like to see nature. They like to see the beach. This is where I come a lot. Um, I go to a lot, and uh, and you can use it for photo shoots. You can use it, you can use it for content, and maybe your country has something unique that other people don't have access to. So, you know what I mean? It's just focus on the skills, focus on the principles of marketing rather on the smaller details. The smaller details, you will figure them out. And there are, there are options available for everyone. It doesn't matter the country, there are options. You just have to look for them. Uh, well, the most important thing is that you just literally take action every single day consistently. Um, don't stop taking action just because you face smaller obstacles. And that's gonna make a big difference. Thanks for watching this video. I didn't have the tripod today, so I'm doing it in selfie mode, but I hope you found it valuable. And if you did, be sure to go to sebastiangomezmentoring.com to learn more about how you can work with me. But if not, um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.